The apartment is located in Setagaya, one of the most populated residential areas in Tokyo. It was very important that two adult mother and son could live their lives together while keeping their distance from each other when needed, even in such a small space. The client is a creative professional and lives with his mother. The mother has originally lived alone in this apartment, but after she was injured, her son decided to move in with her and decided to renovate the apartment to make their lives as comfortable and enjoyable as possible. My name is Kumiko Ouchi. I'm an architect and a founder of Small Design Studio in Tokyo. Integrating hidden storage using curtains in clever ways and making your spaces more multi-purpose. Learn how to bring these and other genius ideas to life in your home. Reimagining Small Space Living is now shipping worldwide from the US, Europe and Australia. The apartment is 46 square meters with the balcony space of 6.8. When we first visited the apartment, the interior is almost 40 years old and the facility were old and difficult to use. There was two bedrooms, which one could be used as a living room. There was a kitchen and dining area and a bathroom. We consulted with the client several times and came up with a floor plan with the private rooms and a sense of spaciousness in the living and dining areas where they spend most of their time. The kitchen now shares the space with the dining and living areas. As you walk into the entrance, there is a shoe storage on the left side and the wardrobe area along the hallway. This space is the main storage space in the house and was planned to be able to hide and store everything from golf bags to Wi-Fi routers and clothes. To brighten up the storage, I added sensor lighting to the wardrobe. The bathroom is located on the right side and leads to the mother's room at the far end. The living room is a step lower than the rest of the apartment. The floor in this space is carpeted to create a comfortable space for sitting on the floor and to help create a separate zone. A bioethanol fireplace is located directly in front of the entrance, separating the hallway from the living room. It is positioned in such a way that the living room is not visible from the entrance. Three large niches were designed for the sound's record correction. The sofa is a wooden bench by the window. It has a custom-made cushion and converts into the sun's bed in the evening. We also created a storage space under the bed so that the futon can be quickly put away when they have guests over. We took special care in planning the room to serve as a living room during the day and a bed at night. The client loves cooking and it is very important element for his life. So I designed a kitchen to be bright and open space where they would want to spend their time. The gas stove and oven is built in with a dining table in an island in the middle of the room. This creates a lively kitchen environment where you can serve what you cook right away. The sink side is facing the window with the most open and green space and has a dishwasher and plenty of storage. The kitchen cabinet is made of wood and finished in water-resistant plaster. A utility space is located next to the kitchen. It's a narrow hallway which cannot be seen from the living area. It has a fridge and a washing machine. The mother's bedroom can also be accessed from here. There is a clothes rack that hangs from the ceiling for the mother's clothes. And the shelves are recessed into the wall to hold books, clocks and other small items. 
To keep the path between the bedroom and the bathroom, I installed a door to the bathroom at the back of the room. Between the bath and wash space, there is storage for linen and other household items. We plan the washroom to be as comfortable as possible and to provide the necessary storage. As for the toilet, it is quite compact. We used indirect lighting to create a comfortable space that does not feel so small. We plan storage to hide toilet paper and power board. As Japan's population ages, the number of environment in which parent and children's generation live together has been increasing very rapidly. It is important to consider a space where each can maintain an appropriate distance from each other while keeping a place for a family to share. Thanks for watching, and if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.